What's up, Red Eye? This is Sarah Spain. I'm here at the Super Bowl in Miami, uh, getting ready to talk to some media people about this whole crazy adventure that we're on. So Sarah, tell me about the beginning of it, how it all started from the from the very top. Uh, well, essentially I knew I had to get to the game and I booked a flight to Miami, but I don't have uh, $4,000, so I thought I have to come up with something creative and different to get the word out about this crazed Bears fan that has to get in that doesn't have a ticket. Um, and my boss actually kind of jokingly mentioned eBay and I took it and ran with it, to, much to his surprise and perhaps chagrin. And uh, overnight, I got about 400 emails just in the first day from people that legitimately had tickets or people who just wanted to say hi and say, you know, if you can't watch the game at the, at the Super Bowl, just come over to my house and watch it on my couch. So the eBay so, offer was what? Uh, the eBay offer was basically, who's got tickets, take me as your date to the Super Bowl. And, uh, and that word date yeah. kind of got you in it, it trouble there. It got the wheels turning. Uh, I'm date has, I know I know how to get things done. Date so. has a double double connotation there, which well, you were aware of or not aware of. I was completely aware of it, but I did write in there. You know, I'm not an escort. This is an old-fashioned date where uh, we'll just go to the game. Except I'll turn the tables around and I'll buy the guy the beer and the food. I won't I won't make him do it traditional style. Um, but I did say, you know, it's just it's just a date for the game. It's just taking someone who really appreciate it. So. Okay. So what happened next? Well, after eBay took it down twice, because you're not allowed to sell yourself on the internet, apparently, uh, they, they were on to my clever ruse to use them just to drum up publicity. Um, then the people from Axe gave me a call, they do like male grooming products, and they said they wanted to not only take me to the game, but give me four tickets, and uh, I got to bring two of my girlfriends to have as my wing women, and then I got to have a contest and kind of flip things around and have a guy sell himself to me um, and try and submit as to why he would uh, be the perfect date to the Super Bowl. So give me the chronology. It all began on... Wednesday night at like 11 p.m. is when I put the eBay ad on. And when did Axe make the offer to you? Uh, Friday afternoon. So it took you about 48 hours to secure four, four tickets. tickets. In the end zone, in the 23rd row. I, I, <laughs> you think they could have done better? Uh, I did get offers for two tickets on the 50-yard uh, line in like the 10th row, but I'd already uh, secured this deal and I, I didn't want to get greedy. I wanted to have my friends with me, so... Okay, and so you, the X deal began, and what happened next? Did people start sending you their applications, is what you, is what you call them? Uh, well, X and I just kind of talked about a bunch of stuff. I had a bunch of radio interviews that day after they called, so I just started kind of drumming up publicity to a MySpace site I made about the whole thing. And then we set up a Hotmail account, and I just told people to start sending stuff in and tell me like a good story, tell me why they should go, and be honest about who they are and why they deserve to go. And man, I just got like 1,300 responses at least which I read every one of except for a couple Colts fans that they deleted ahead of time for me knowing that that was not, not going to happen, so. Okay, so, so uh, tell me about, about some of the applications that you got. Oh, I got some great ones. There was a guy who, uh, after the Saints-Bears game, dressed up in a full bear suit and an Urlacher jersey, and he video had someone videotape him walking around Chicago with a sign that said, Free Bear Hugs, and just hugging everybody he could find, and it was really cute. Another guy made a little video of still shots where he took a bunch of pictures from my MySpace and inserted himself into the pictures with me, and then put us in various places, like at the Bears game and at the Bears championship, and put my head on Ditka's body getting carried off the field, and just all sorts of creative stuff like that. Um, I got some other just creepy ones, uh, people who would like email me like 11 times in a row, just like one word each time, like, you should take me to the Super Bowl which wasn't very creative and was annoying. Just creepy. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I got I got some Colts fans. I got some people who tried to give me some sob stories about, you know, their team not being in it, so they deserve to go. I was like, not a chance. Taking a Bears fan. Tried and true. Did any women email you? Yes. I not only got women that wanted me to take them and said, you know, all four of us girls are tear up South Beach and it'll be a good time, but I also got women that were emailing me for their husbands or their boyfriends or their sons. I got some that wanted me to take their eight-year-old son, uh, which is pretty funny. Did you have an age limit? I did. I had, I had, they had to be over 21 so I could take a booze and after the win. Okay, so and <laughs> tell me about the winning application. Why did you pick it? Well, basically, I got all the best ones, probably about 15 um, that I got, and it was really hard to judge from those. They all had such different things. You know, it could have been a video or it could have been a Super Bowl shuffle that they wrote, and I had to put them on a level playing field. So I sent all those guys, the finalists, if you will. Um, a quiz that kind of tested their Bears knowledge, uh, what kind of guy they were, um, if they had a girlfriend, kind of sneaky style. I asked them sneaky questions and they revealed things about themselves that they most likely didn't realize they were revealing. Um, so then Alan came along and he was totally honest 
us in his, and he seemed like a really big Bears fan, someone who wasn't in a position to get his own ticket. And uh, the winning question actually for him was, I said, there's three of us girls and we each want two beers. How do you make that happen in one trip? And so guys had all sorts of like weird like pyramid schemes with like setting up all the like, like the drink trays to make a pyramid so they could like rest on each other or paying someone off to get beers or all these scams. And uh, Alan basically just said, if you're asking me to get a game, uh, beers for you during the game, this may hurt my chances to win, but I'm not willing to do that because the game's too important. So I don't, I don't want to miss a second to get you guys beers. But I'll yell really loudly for the beer guy coming down the aisles. Okay. And that was totally honest, and that's what we want. We don't want some guy who's like kissing our asses during the game instead of watching. So. And would you like to introduce Alan now? Sure. Here's the lucky winner. All right. <laughs> so Alan, tell me about why you sent in your application and uh, how surprised were you when you got the uh, the response that you'd won? Uh, well, it's kind of more like a why not. Like it's a Super Bowl free ticket. You're here with this like beautiful girl. Why would you not send in an application? I guess it didn't cost anything, so I sent it in. And uh, I was surprised. Very surprised. Like this is completely surreal. I was getting on a plane at seven this morning. Like Bears jacket, hat, winter hat. Now I'm here in a t-shirt and shorts, and we're going to the Super Bowl tomorrow. It's crazy. So just you and three hot girls at the Super Bowl. Pretty much. <laughs> Happens every day. Right, of course. This is like every other week. <laughs> okay, well any last words about your Super Bowl adventure? Go Bears. Go Bears. <laughs> I got the Bears by two touchdowns. Alan, any predictions? Predictions. I think it's going to be close. The Bears are going to pull it out. I just have this feeling. Uh, we don't like to talk about the games. We get a little bit yeah, a little nauseous, nervous. a little yeah. nervous. But uh, once the game starts, we'll be good. I think Hester's going to have a big, uh, yeah. big play. And, uh, right. We're just going to go nuts. It's going to be so fun tomorrow. I saw those Pats returns against the, against the Colts. They were just giving it away on punt returns. So with Hester in there, it's going to be either that or we're going to get like 50 yard line field position every time because they're going to avoid him. So that's going to be key. Okay. And when did you guys first meet, by the way? This morning, like uh, two hours ago. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys hang out on the plane, get to know each other a little bit? No, I was coming from LA and he was coming from Chicago. Okay. So uh, we just met at the bar at our hotel and did a little TV interview and said hi and then just jumped right into all this flurry of activity. So. So who is this I weird? I already, but it's too late. <laughs> so you seem like you're not getting along at all. You, you made the wrong choice, <laughs> clearly. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining me for RedEyeChicago.com and enjoy the game, guys. Thanks Go so Bears! Much. Yeah. Red Eye Chicago, Chicago Bears. Bears. Every play clear the way to victory. Red Eye Chicago Bears. Put up a fight with the might so fearlessly. Tommy. Go Bears. Right, I know, I know. Oh. I know. That's what I'm saying. I know I'm not.